Okay, what the hell am I doing? Right, so now what I'm gonna try to do is I'm going to see the rack over there. I'm gonna move that rack behind the chair here and then try and clear out most of this crap over here so I can um so I can get better imaging. I was actually just watching uh, Paul, I think it's McGowan. I've watched a crap load of those videos. And I can't believe I don't know the guy's name. Yeah, the PS Audio. He's just talking about, and what video was that? He was just watching. Um, what the hell was he just, oh, wire amplifiers on the floor. Um, actually, my amplifier, I showed it the other day. See that brick over there? That's my amplifier. Things about the size of two fingers. And it sounds kick-ass, though. Yeah, so yesterday, or the other day, I think it might have been yesterday or the other day, I was talking about how, ow, I got these damn things on the back of my neck. Oh, um, that's disgusting. Let's see, should I put on the, I don't know if the, the, the light will work. I'm like, can I get that damn light on? Oh, there it goes. Um, yeah, I think that's a little better. Yeah, so the BMWs, right, I didn't mention the NHTs. So I'm going to try and add the NHTs to get even more sound. The other thing I, I meant to mention yesterday was um, I like to listen to it low because I was reading Stereophile one day, and I'm not sure it was John Atkinson or one of those guys. They were talking, they give you like different tips, tips and hints on how to, you know, improve the sound quality of your stereo system and um um yeah one um that he mentioned was turn the music down and let your ears do the work and i f i tried that i think it was some years ago i've been trying that for years now instead of blasting it all the time because i think it overwhelms your ears and it it, it causes you to become fatigued because it's so loud and I think it overwhelms the room because they're always talking about room treatment and crap like that. So, um, yeah, so I, actually I tried that. So I had these spare doors lying around, closet doors. So I put them as you're saying, like, you should try and put something into the corner. I don't know how well these work. I haven't, like, tried to uh, put them in the corner or take them away to test the difference but um but yeah um I, I the thing is i'm thinking if i keep it low it should the room it shouldn't you know adversely become affected by the room because there shouldn't be that many reflections you know like standing waves and crap like that i saw one guy yeah so yeah i gotta paint i've been meaning to paint for the last i don't know 10 years but i'm gonna get to that i swear i'll do a video about that <laughs> painting it really is a lot of fun okay once you're finished no it's not but it's actually i find it's actually easier than you know it's actually it's not that bad it's actually quite rewarding but yeah they had like the same type of um deal at the top of the ceilings you know where i think it was trying to prevent standing waves but i know a lot of these guys they um they have their television set up. I think you should have it in a separate room. Put the television in your bedroom or something. I don't think it's good to combine the, the like the television home theater with, you know, audiophile style listening. And it seems like a lot of those guys are actually doing that. I could be wrong though. Maybe they're just doing it to, you know, to review products though. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna try and hook up the damn it. This thing, it went, you see, okay, good. It, it looks like my, I'm a little blurry there. I don't know why I'm blurry. Did I touch that damn, okay, there it goes. My hand's shaking like crazy. Damn, I need to eat more ice cream. Ugh, make me feel better. But yeah, um, I'm going to try to hook up those uh, NHT speakers. Why is this thing going blurry again? And uh, see how the sound improves. Right now, I can't believe how great the sound is. With uh, with the three tweeters, with the woofer on the BMW, connected to the uh, the magna pans, with that ribbon tweeter, quasi ribbon, I guess. I don't know if they mean a quasi ribbon tweeter or just quasi ribbon because the tweeters are ribbon, but the um the the base, you know, the woofer, is not ribbon, but the. What is it, the L L P S? What's the name of the magna pan? 
Um, it's the MMG equivalent. And uh, I think they said it's about $650. It's not that, not that bad. I'm very tempted to buy one and try it. They do look beautiful. But, um, but yeah, I cannot believe the way this damn thing sounds with that little crappy, um, that little crappy amplifier in my Kenter. This thing's, well, I think it's, what is that damn thing? Oh, yeah, if you haven't noticed, I tried taking everything out of the box. I find that that's a, um, my CD player. It's a, um, 